Well, just wanted to uh, you know wrap up the season here, the regular season. Obviously, we're all excited and anxious to find out what bowl game we're playing in and getting prepared. Um, coming back from Saturday's game, obviously, it was a uh, a tough loss for us. I thought our kids really battled and played really, really well and played hard. Losing Andre uh, early hurt us because you know we started really banging back on that defense and really starting to run the ball and do some things we wanted to do in the second half, and that's where he does a lot of his damage. Uh, but I thought the two young freshmen played well. Obviously, uh, you know, on defense, uh, we had the one turnover, which was good. Uh, we, we weren't able to get off the field there in the end, and, and, and that hurt us. You know, I had to make some, some obviously, in any one of those kind of games, uh, two weeks ago, we made a hard decision on how we wanted to handle the last minutes of the game, and it worked out well for us. And capping out the season on offense, we averaged 28.4 points per game. It's the highest BC season total in 10 years. You know, I don't think a lot of people really understand that. That's really an important message that they do understand. And, uh, you know, and that's, and that's with a lot of runs, not a lot of, ton of throws. But, uh, you know, we had the nation's leading rusher and Doak Walker finalist, Andre Williams, 2,102 yards, 17 touchdowns, 175 yards per game. Our team averaged 5.5 yards per rush with a total of 2,617, 22 touchdowns. And we got our little reputation back as O line U. Chase Reddick was 1,800 yards, 17 touchdowns. Six interceptions, 62% completion uh, rate. Alex Amadon, 67 receptions, 895 yards, five touchdowns. We are second in the nation in red zone efficiency. We are fourth in the nation and first in the ACC in penalties per game. We had 62 explosive runs, 33 explosive passes, and we averaged eight explosives per game, which is pretty darn good. Only four Heisman Trophy winners have ever had a statistical season better than Andre Williams. Barry Sanders, uh, Marcus Allen, uh, Rogier, and Ricky Williams. Heisman mission statement, outstanding college football player for, who, for whose performance best exhibits pursuit of excellence within, with integrity. I would say Andre William absolutely fits that. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, an injury is an injury. And, uh, but in 11 games, your ninth best rushing season in the history of college football, I think that's pretty remarkable. Education, also his opportunity to play major college football and to be a part of a team. Um, he's, he's, he's got a lot of different interests and things and, you know, what a typical college student would have. It's not just all focus on football. And I think he represents, you know, what Boston College stands for. And uh, that's why I said, again, I wanted to reread that mission statement because I really believe that in my heart. And, uh, you, know, you know, I've been around a lot of different players in my career, and I just think that when you have a guy that represents those things that we all hold dealer in college football, you know, those are things that should be held in esteem. Well, I mean, I think we, well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to get a little lift in here on Wednesday for the, for the young guys, and Thursday for the older guys. Friday, we will practice Friday morning and Saturday morning, and we'll have a fundamentals practice. Go right back to fundamentals, day one, you know, stand, start, just re-strip it down and restart again. And, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have some fundamentals, even for the older guys, you know, not a real contact or anything, light fundamentals. And then the back half of practice will be set up for the younger players. And then we'll scrimmage the younger players. Full pads, hit and scrimmage them the whole bit. And let them play. And go back and watch them play a little bit and compete a little bit. Let them tackle. And, uh, and we'll do that for Friday and Saturday. The older guys won't do much. Be very, very light at best. And that'll give the older guys a week away, essentially. You know, they'll have some lifting, some running, a couple fundamentals. But for the most part, they'll have a week away. It's really positive, really good. Uh, it's a real, it's a real uh, stress on the coaches the next two weeks. It's, it's, it's about as nutty as it can possibly be. You're in different cities every day. You're on the road recruiting. You're back in preparing for practice. Then you have you know about 40 guests or whatever guests come in for a weekend. Then you're involved in a whole recruiting weekend while you're practicing. Then you break out of the recruiting weekend. You meet on Sunday and get back on a plane and go do it again. So it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty uh, demanding 14-day grind that We've all done, and you're almost happy to do it because that means you're in a bowl game, and that's awesome. Sometimes when you're not, you're like, you know, how good is that? Not very. So it's a good. It's like the pressure was off last year when you came in. You just you're recruiting. Now you're going to get team. You know, I was thinking about and, that. And, uh, yeah. I mean, a year ago, roughly, give or take, I don't know exactly when it was, but about a year ago today, I was just kind of rolling in here, you know? And uh, what a great opportunity that was, you know? So really thankful and grateful for the opportunity that BC gave me and uh, grateful for, the, for, the, uh, for the, the players on our team and for the administration and for the season that we had. I mean, when you think about 
What's transpired in one year relative to the football program? It's been a good year.